Okay guys, what we've got here is um, my Ruger EC9 with the newly installed lightened trigger spring kit, which reduces the, the trigger pull from about four pounds down to about 2.7 pounds around there. Um, and it feels great. I mean, you can see how that trigger is real crisp. Nice. It is really light now compared to what it was before. But anyway, what we've got here is we've got five nine millimeter cartridges, no bullet, they're just blanks. No bullet, no powder. All they've got is new primers in them, except the primers that are in them are rifle primers that have harder cups. So that's how we're gonna test to see how this, uh, how this spring kit works. And the spring kit with reduction springs in it against harder cupped rifle primers. Okay, so there's number one, fired perfectly. Remember, these are rifle primers that have harder cups, much harder cups than a pistol primer, according to the manufacturer. And they also have a one one thousandth thicker cup. I measured it with a micrometer. So, being said, they shouldn't be able to be fired in a pistol with a lighter spring set up. And there's all five. So, rifle primer with harder cups fired out of a pistol with a reduced trigger spring kit in it. So that proves that these rifle primers work fine in 9mm or any other pistol caliber as long as you don't go over your maximums on your powder loads. And if you look at them, the other misconception people have because they've never tested it, never tried it. They've heard it from somebody else, so they just reiterated re it over the internet in another post, thinking they had knowledge on it. Well, there's a lot of tests out there that compare rifle primers to pistol primers and determine what you know, pressures they have. And the pressures are slightly different, if none at all. So you can interchange them, you know. I'm not saying do it, but if you've tested it properly yourself, like I have already, uh, it's easily interchangeable. So you can use rifle primers, small rifle primers, in pistols that have good striker springs, okay? So anyway, that works. Um, the misconception that a lot of people have is that since the cups are thicker, that the primers don't sit flush, that they stick out too much. That's a bunch of BS because that primer is below flush. It's below, below the base of the... the the pistol cartridge base here, the nine millimeter. So that's more BS people spew out there when they have no knowledge because they didn't test it themselves. So these primers sit extremely flush. Perfect. Anyway, it's a good test. Now I got to do uh, the spring kit on my uh, uh, Sig Sauer P365. We'll come out here and do another test with five cartridges, uh, just like that with rifle primers in them because. The test is to show that since rifle primers are harder, it takes a harder spring in your gun to be able to ignite that primer. So with that said, with a harder primer, this gun will operate fine with regular pistol primers, even with the lighter springs, because the pistol primers have much thinner cups, but they have the same ignition and amount of uh, primer compound in there. So anyway, that's that.